It's good to be here as ever. I was just saying, in fact, this place, Vanilla, um, it's got great memories for me because I met a girl here a few years ago who I then ended up going out with, um, an actress called Kira Jansen. And so I've got very happy memories of this place. Glad to bring back fond memories tonight. And obviously, um, you know, tonight it's all about looking good. I'm curious, are there any particular products or beauty regimes that you swear by yourself? Um, I'm not one of these people who spends loads of money on uh, products. Um, although as I get older, I do feel as though I have to make much more of an effort. Um, but I tend to just try and eat healthily and do a lot of exercise. Um, having said that, if there are any fantastic products I should be using, then I'd be keen to hear about them. And what about uh, surgery? Do you have any particular uh, strong feelings either way on that? No, I mean, I think, you know, like a lot of people, it was a bit of a taboo to have um, surgical procedures to enhance the way you look. Um, I, I'm, a, I'm a little sort of more relaxed about it now. I mean, in a way, uh, you know, you've got one life and you want to look good. And I totally understand why people do it. Um, and I, especially as nowadays there is quite a lot of pressure to look good. Um, and uh, certainly in my business as an actor, um, I, I find that, you know, you're, you're very much judged on your appearance. Um, so I completely understand why people do it. And, you know, would I ever get anything done? Never say never. I don't know. Maybe. I suppose like a lot of men, um, we're, we're quite, we tend to be quite visual. Um, we tend to, to be stimulated by the way people look and, and we, we have an idea of the way people should look. And, and I suppose I, I tend to go for sort of sporty girls, girls who look sort of fit and healthy. Um, having said that, yeah, I, I don't really go for skinny girls. You know, so, um, you know, I think for me it's about someone who looks as though they're eating well and exercising and I suppose I find that attractive. Um, at the moment, I'm enjoying uh, a little bit of a rest. Obviously, I, I left Holby City and then I, I did an album which was out in April called Change of Heart, um, which is still available on Amazon. And um, yeah, you know, I'm enjoying a few months off. Uh, there's some good projects flying around. I'm, I'm doing some auditions for some stuff. And acting is definitely the focus um, really from now on. So, in, you know, enjoying having a few months off and looking forward to potentially going to LA and spending a bit of time over there. You mentioned last time that you might be heading to LA. Is that still the plan and long term? Is that kind of your ambition? Yeah, I think I probably will end up in America. I'll probably go to LA at the end of the year, um, ready for pilot season at the end, uh, the beginning of next year, um, and see what happens. But you know, you do send, you tend to send a lot of tapes over to America um, because obviously just so much is made there, a lot of TV and a lot of film. Um, but I could see myself fitting in quite well in America. You know, sort of healthy living and running on the beach it sounds pretty good to me and of course uh, the last album you said had given you um, motivation to potentially do more have you been um, I know you're taking some time out at the moment but have you been kicking around any ideas or working on any music at the moment I think you know having done the album which does take quite a long time um, I've now done that and um, I have no immediate plans to do another one. Um, you know, I'm, I might do it at some point in the future, but these things take so much time. And I'm really pleased with what we made. Um, you know, I love the album, but now I really think, yeah, it's time to sort of focus on the acting stuff for me.